So what do you think, Mason? The bastards haven't given me a moment to think clearly. Don't talk to the press anymore. If they insist or if they corner you, then you should just lie. That's how they knew about Nuri. Where's Gerald? He's at home. He's really shaken up by all of this. He went home. He went completely silent when he saw his father on the camera. He really knows what's what. What's that mean? <sighs> Why are you so surprised Mr. Ferriton came to the hospital? He's a relative and a close relative at that. Wait, so what's with the silence from you two, huh? Hey there, boss. A guy stopped by and asked for you. Who was it? You left a card. Mason Katronsky, lawyer. So did he say what he wanted? He asked that you call when you get back. We have nothing to do with men like him. We don't like problems. What kind of men do you mean? You know, simple, common. Those villagers who think they're so smart. Michael, you're talking about my husband's father in case you forgot. Well, did you forget what he did? Of course I haven't. What did he do? Nothing, Mr. Mason. My brother is just exaggerating again. Exaggerating? The man blatantly deceived my father. How do you do that? My father simply wouldn't allow Gerald and I to get married. They thought he was... He was only marrying her for the money. Faridun was the one who proved that we were right. I was pregnant with Kareem before we got married. We were forced to tell my father about it when he wouldn't let us get married. As you can imagine, everything quickly became a huge mess. And on top of that, Mr. Faridun profited from it. He actually blackmailed my father. He told my father he would leak the scandal if he didn't give his permission. My father gave him money to prevent that from happening. I think it was all very unseemly. Something like that didn't happen to my family. Gerald got very angry. He never spoke to his father again. The bridges were burned then, you see. I'm sure you can understand better now just what kind of man he is. And Gerald comes from the same family. But what can we do? Michael, Gerald proved to us he was different. Remember, he was the one who suggested the prenup. He couldn't have convinced my father any other way. goes right in here in this spot. We are so awesome. Daddy! Daddy! <sighs> I found oh. all the puzzle pieces. And another, another! All right, then. Right here. It fits! Good for you, honey. But Dolly wants to help. Let her do this one here. I think it's this one. Oh, it's wrong. Try over here instead. Does Mr. Ferriton see his grandchildren? He hasn't seen them more than a couple of times. I said they should see him since he is their grandfather. Gerald didn't agree to it. He wouldn't even let him into the house. He didn't because he's afraid of me. I guarantee you, all the man wants is more money. He called a few months ago. The secretary put him through when he said it was urgent. I guess he was calling to say he needed more money. He asked for a ton of money. Gerald gave it to him? Does he have money to give? He can't even get money from Layla without my knowledge. He can't even dare to ask for it. 
Do we even need to talk about it more? It's pretty clear to me that this man had Kareem kidnapped. He's not the one to blame. Michael, for God's sakes, who would want to kidnap his own grandson? For money, of course. Just think about it. A man like Feridun? His son marries into a very wealthy family, huh? But he's left out of everything. He got nothing. He's an outsider. He's resentful, of course. And he owes people a lot of money. What else should he do? He must have hired a few thugs to kidnap Kareem. He'll get both his revenge and the money. I can't think of a better plan. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds possible, but Gerald's father, Kareem's grandfather. No, it's definitely not possible. I really don't think it's true. Why else do you think he came to the hospital, huh? Huh? You think he came because he was worried? Do you believe him? Mr. Mason, what do you think? Please say something. It might be possible. What Michael said seems very logical to me. But we can't accuse anyone without being completely sure of Well, things. become sure then. Start looking into this guy and see what you can find out. I'll do that. Don't worry about it. I'm going to ask one thing of you. Please don't let Gerald know about all of this. It is his father. <laughs>